Horns up and welcome to the semi-finals of Ramen Wars. After the top 8 bowls battled it out, we are left with the top 4 bowls. And they are Izumi, Origami, Kuraku, Mizu. Let's find out who will be battling it out today. Kuraku special ramen from Kuraku for 880 on the menu but 924 with GST. Versus the Poktok Matsu ramen with Shoyu Tare from Izumi for 890 rupees but I paid 959 on Swiggy with taxes and tip. It's Izumi versus Kuraku. Let the battle begin. Round 2, fight. So you ready to eat? God, I've been waiting for so long. Okay, this is the bowl from Kuraku. Okay. And this is the bowl from Izumi. Okay. So dig in. Okay. You have that. I just want to make a few points before we start. Kuraku has given us one slice of pork today. Was there more last time? Yes, there were two. A single very thin sliver of pork. Yeah. And Izumi has given us three pieces of pork instead of two. But because the sizes are a little different, so I think this is the end piece. And this is the middle piece, so oh. they've given us three, so that it's, I think, as much as the normal two. Anyway, dig in. Oh, interesting. This is also a tea egg then. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut the Izumi egg. So this, while it's not hard boiled, but it's certainly not jammy. Well, it's a little over. This is jammy. Hold on. That's a fairly jammy egg. So I've already found my first problem with the Kuraku ramen. That is a lump of overcooked noodle, which is a problem. Oh yum. So the noodles are not overcooked, but they're sort of odd in that when I'm trying to pick them up, they're just simply snapping and breaking off. There's a very slight Maggi chicken flavor to it. The broth is somewhat reminiscent of that packet Maggi chicken. Let's get some of the egg. Mm, the pork is nice and thick. The egg is nice. Let's get some of that very thin slice of pork. Extremely tiny sliver. I mean, okay. Okay. Are we swapping bowls now? Yeah. Let's try the Koraku bowl. So much thinner noodles in Izumi's. Oh, there's that intense hit of sesame oil in it. So there's definitely more sesame oil this time in um, the Izumi broth, which is sort of drowning out all the other flavors. So I'm just getting like a very heavy hit of that. Mm. The funky menma, the woodier mushrooms, it's like a, a different texture with every bite. Some of us are just eating, some of us are judging. Oh, the pork. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So fatty, so delicious. Let's get some of that egg. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Okay, let's start with the Kuraku bowl. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts, overall thoughts? I really am not a fan of the noodles all stuck together. That is a problem. I like the texture of the Kuraku noodles more, but it something is up with the cooking of it. It's not okay. I'm very unhappy with that very miserly slice of pork. And it's not it's not beautiful melt-in-your-mouth pork. It's just like a sliced cooked pork. And there, there's very little else in the bowl other than the, you know, half an egg. So... It's okay. And the broth itself, it's like a good comforting chicken soupy broth. But it doesn't have that mouth coating richness that a uh, tonkotsu would. So I, is it a tonkotsu? No, it's a Kuraku special ramen. Okay, so never mind the fattiness of it. But even then the broth is like, it's very light. Okay. Could use more flavors. So what do you rate this on 1 to 10? I'd rate the Kuraku bowl a 7. Alright, for me the Kuraku bowl was better last time. This time they have just fallen short which is why I would say it's also a 7 for me. Okay. And what about the Izumi bowl? Mm, okay, so um, I would have liked thicker noodles but I know Izumi does thin noodles. Um, I really like the broth. I'm always, I've always been a big fan of Izumi's broth but this time there's definitely more sesame oil than there should be and it's drowning out all the other, the finer, the subtler nuances of the broth. Um, the pork is beautiful, chunky, but still melt in your mouth. Just so like unctuous, delicious. Uh, and the fact that there's like, there's menma, there's um, the mushrooms, there's very finely sliced 
onion, every bite gives you something new and all of it is beautifully harmonious. So I still love the bowl. It's a solid 8.5. For me as well, I mean, I enjoyed the Izumi bowl. Uh, it hit all the right spots for me. I would also give this a solid 8.5 this time. So we're actually pretty much on the same page. And that means Izumi is the winner of this round and they will go on to the finals. And we will see you on the next episode of Ramen Wars. Until then, cheers and keep eating. And